up YouTube? What up friends and fam? Um, got a question yesterday saying something like this. How I got comfortable, how did I get comfortable living on my own after moving away from my family for all these years? Um, so, like I, I moved out of my parents' house pretty much permanently when I was right out of high school. So that I was, what, 19 when I was out of high school because I was old for my, for my grade. Um, I was like a year older than everybody. Uh, my parents started me late when I was younger, so I'd be the oldest instead of the youngest. My birthday's in July, if you guys don't know that. Um, so anyways, in 2011, I graduated high school. I moved out, um, let me rewind. When I, was, when I graduated, I wasn't doing too good with um, like my marijuana usage, and I did a little drugging, uh, mainly like Adderall and some pills. And I used to drink here and there, but nothing, nothing spectacular on the drinking. Um, so, but I was obsessed with weed. Like I definitely smoked weed every day. It was definitely a problem in my life. Um, you know, I was just having too much fun with it, spending a lot of money on it too, making irrational decisions about marijuana. Um, you know, I, I, I believe it's a drug if you treat it that way. It is medicine if you treat it like medicine, but I was not treating it like medicine. I was just doing it for my own good, my own purpose. So that's when my mom sat me down. You know, I, I, I got into it with my parents growing up in high school. Like they hated how I smoked weed. And I just continued to do so because I thought it was cool. I, it gave me, you know, it calmed me down. It made me more social. And, you know, I felt like I could fit in with my high school friends and whatnot. Um, so that's the reason why I did it, you know. That's why I don't really agree with the high school system because, like, it, I'm not going to blame it for making me do drugs and smoke weed all day. But, like, it certainly made me want to smoke weed all day because I hated school that much. So if you hate school that much and you're watching this, do, do something else, man. Like... You really don't need high school. I, I'm pretty sure it's not illegal not to go to high school. It's not illegal not to get your high school diploma. Um, so just have that in consideration while you're watching this. So, you know, gotten, didn't get into too much trouble in high school. I like got, you know, got a fine in high school after it was legal in Massachusetts when I got, me and my buddies got caught with weed on a golf course. It's a different other story. Um, but yeah, so... You know, you know, I was just getting to, like, I was relying on it, spending a shit ton of money on it, spending a shit ton of time. The people I was associating with, they were just my friends because I was smoking weed with them, really. Um, I don't really talk to too much of them today, honestly. But anyway, so my mom gave me, like, an ultimatum. I was completely 100% reliant on them in high school and even when I graduated about rent, about paying stuff you know like I never knew how to pay anything like I never knew what an actual check was like I had to figure all that shit out once I graduated um so once I graduated my mom's like you're either going to this place in Maine or you're gonna go to yoga school to become a yoga school teacher because it was like a four-week program that place in Maine was like a four-week program too I, it seemed like some sort of sober living or something like that it wasn't like so much rehab but it was like some sort of like rehabilitation for fucked up people like myself and um, so I chose yoga school because I'm just like well yoga school no-brainer I'll be able to get my yoga certification and then there's gonna be a bunch of chicks there which uh, there was definitely a bunch of chicks there um, but that being said so got my so yoga c certificate and then I started dating a girl from the yoga school who was a total smoke show but she was fucking crazy like when I say crazy like she was what 26 and I was 19 so she was a little bit older than me and um, she gave me some sort of direction in that way like she gave me like life advice and stuff like that and showed me how to do this and that but I don't know why I stayed with her I knew better than to stay with her but I fell in love with her so I stayed with her and we did a bunch of shit that 
was just crazy, man. Like, we were dead broke, so we would steal from stores all the time. We would smoke a bunch of weed. She was obsessed with Adderall, so then that's when I got kind of obsessed with Adderall, too. Like, it was, it got pretty bad. Like, it, that was probably the shittiest time of my life, and I don't think it could get any shittier than when I was dating her. Like, things were really bad. Um, but at the same time, that's when, like, I completely shut off my family. They shut off me. So it was like I really had to learn to grow up then. Even though I was making foolish de decisions. Decisions and actions that, like, I would think, like, 12-year-old or 14-year-olds would be doing. You know what I mean? I was living like a thug. I was, you know, like I said, I was stealing from the store. I was stealing from everybody. Like, any chance I got from anybody to steal from them I probably would like it was fucked up like I stole from family before um all that so that time period you know I made a lot of sins made a lot of uh bad decisions but that time period did teach me a lot and it you know I got through that and then got through the other side um so that right there, like, I had to learn to grow up. I had to learn to not live with my family. Then ever since that, I haven't really lived with my family. Like, there was, like, a year or two I came back home and lived with my family. Um, but I've always kind of lived on my own ever since high school happened. I, I just didn't like the idea of having to rely on somebody else for rent and food and all that. Even if it meant I had to steal from the store until I figured the fuck out. Um... I'm just super grateful I never wound up in jail long term or anything like that because it definitely could have happened. Um, got caught stealing a few times. Nothing really happened. Uh, police never got called or anything like that. Um, but then the police did start getting called on me now that I think about it. So when I was dating that girl, uh, me and her got in an argument and she decides to call the police on me and then I had to go to court for that because she was accusing me of doing this and that. So I had to go to court for that, had a case for that. And then at the same time, I had a buddy that wanted to start selling weed. And I got a cousin and some friends down in South Georgia and I knew the cost of weed down there was way cheaper than it is up here in Massachusetts. So I'm like, hey, you know, let's go down to Georgia and, you know, pick up a bag of weed. Like, I wanted to pick up, like, a pound or two of weed. And then, so we drive down, driving down, no problem, driving down. And then finally, when we're, like, literally, like, 30 minutes away from the pickup, like, where my, my buddies didn't even know I was coming. I was just going to show up and... You know, I didn't really want to let him know. I tried to let him know, but I didn't have any of their numbers anymore. But, so, we were driving, then 30 minutes away from where we, like, the town we were going to to pick up, a cop pulls us over for speeding. When I was, like, literally going five miles per hour over the speeding limit, they they got me for, I think, 17 miles per hour over the speeding limit, which was bullshit. The only reason why they pulled me over was because I had a Massachusetts license and I looked directly at the cop when I was going by him. I was like, oh shit. And I had long hair at the time, definitely looked like a drug guy. So he turned his lights on, pulled me over. Um, and let me say this, the state of Georgia, we got pulled over in the state of Georgia. The state of Georgia is the most corrupt cop system, jail system that I fucking know. Like they're horrible. They're absolutely horrible there. They just they just want money and they don't they don't give a fuck about justice. Like and they're super racist too. They're super duper racist down there. So we got pulled over. They wind up searching my car. Um, for no reason really. I think this oh yeah, because they smell weed on me. Which um, I guess my car probably did smell like weed, but in the state of Georgia, that's a reason, that's probable cause to search your car. I think most states are like that, where it's probable cause to search your car if they smell weed. So they searched my car. They found a scale. They found a few bowls. They found a bong. Um, like, we had a bunch of shit in there, but we didn't have any physical weed. We just had paraphernalia. But then, so they put us in handcuffs. The fucking sheriff comes. He's asking where the meth is at. Like, he thought we were, like, meth dealers or some shit. 
Um, and then, so they, they throw us in jail. Holy shit. Something just flew off that fucking truck. So they threw us in jail. Um, and then, get this, when we were in jail, we are in the waiting cell. I said, hey, when's my court date? And then, it was like February that we got arrested. And they said it was like May. Like, we were supposed to be in there for three weeks without even having a court date. Like, in Massachusetts, if you get arrested, like, you get arrested and, like, three days later, if it's the weekend, you have a court date. Or if you get arrested, it's, like, the next day or two, you have a court date. It's none of this fucking three-month-later bullshit. So they wanted us to be there in three months and I said we could make bail, which we did wind up making bail. They are supposed to let us out on bond, um, which is, like, 10% of what your bail actually is, but they're, like made us pay the whole bail so my bail was like 2500 bucks and my buddy's bail was like 1500 bucks this season when he wasn't driving um so you know i had to spend like a week in jail for that because my buddy's dad had to come get us because we didn't have enough cash on us we only had like i think two grand so only he could have gotten out or something I, there was something going on where you know we didn't have enough money to get out but Spent like a week in county jail. Um, it, it was it was horrible, but the guys in there were good. Too. They were good shit. So, but um, yeah, this is just part one. I don't want to keep going on with my story right now to bore you guys. But um, try to keep my minute, my videos like twelve minutes or so. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. This is um, I guess we're gonna make a series of this. How I got comfortable living on my own. Um, so that's part one. This is like we'll just have. The continuation of my story for my day one fans here. So then when I make it, you guys can know exactly what I've made it through. Because um, I think eventually I will kind of delete some of my videos once I do a certain type of vlog. Um, so all these vi videos now will be like personal videos for y'all. Because, you know, it's, it's not something that everybody wants to see. It's not, this isn't some viral shit. This is just my story. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for commenting and thank you guys for giving me the topic of today's video. So I'm just going to label this my story part one. So when you see my story part one, um, we stopped off here when I was, how old was I? 22 or something when I got arrested in Georgia. Um, so we'll go on after that, after I get out of jail in Georgia and shit. Um, that'll be part two. Let's go. Peace.